Hey everyone, this is Leanne from Of Love and Ship Lap and the founder of Sub That Sublimation Graphics and Tutorials on Facebook. I wanted to put together a quick video for how to use the styles panel in Affinity Designer. Before I dive into that, I want to remind you guys that if you are interested in learning absolutely everything there is to know about Affinity Designer and also learning how to use all of the tools in this program to create your own artwork, then check out the Affinity Designer Digital Graphic Design Masterclass for Sublimation. This is a 100 hour video course that's learned on your own time uh, at your own pace. It is the most in depth, user friendly, beginner friendly course available. You don't need to know anything to start taking this course. If you know some stuff, that's great. You're going to learn so much more than you know. And I can say this with confidence because I learned a lot about Affinity Designer creating this course. And so for everything I thought that I knew, there was even more that I didn't know um, and wasn't practically uh, implementing into my design world. So just something to keep in mind. There's always room to learn. There's always a lot more to learn and you can learn a lot in this course that we have created. It is the only course of its kind because it not only teaches you the tools, but it teaches you them in a progressive style where you will learn and then practice implementing and then build on what you've just learned and continue to practice all along the way. There is interactive challenges with chances to earn prizes, and we are teaching you to design, not just learn how to use the tools. Anyone can teach you how to use how to use the tools, but you have to know how to actually implement them to get the results that you want. And that is an entirely different set of skills and teaching than just saying, here's the tool and here's how to use it. So if you're interested in learning everything there is to know, then check out our course. Uh, you can use the code sub that to save $30. And that link is in the video description. Now, let's go ahead and get started. I am using the Windows version of Affinity Designer. If you are using the Mac version, the steps you'll follow are exactly the same. Now, my interface I have tailored for me, and you can see that my Styles tab is down here in the middle of my right panel. You can rearrange your workspace however you would like by simply um, grabbing any panel, and moving it around to wherever it can be docked. If it can be docked somewhere, you'll see this blue come up. Um, otherwise, you can have it just floating on your workspace and you can have them stacked down here. You can get rid of panels that you don't want visible down here. Sky's the limit in terms of studio customization. Um, we do cover this more in depth in the Affinity Designer Masterclass, but I just want you to be aware of where to find your styles panel. So in the default setting, it should be right in this general area. There's actually all of these panels are down in here as well. And so you might only be able to see like ST or STY instead of actually seeing the whole name styles. If you're not sure if your panel is on your workspace at all, then go to view studio and simply look for that panel. If you see a check mark next to it, it means that it is actually on your studio somewhere. And if you select it to uncheck it, you'll see that it's no longer there. So let's view studio again. And if we check styles again, it reappears for us. So you do have the option to not have panels or have panels depending on what you would like. I'm going to just open up a new document so that we have a visual reference as we talk about the styles panel. So we're going to hit file, new. You can set your measurements for your document right over here in your sidebar. You can add this plus sign to add them, um, or you can choose a page size from that area. I'm just going to choose this promo graphic side that I have. And I'm going to select my text tool and I'll just type out some words get them centered on my workspace and I'll select my little star for my shape tool. You can see if you click on that little white corner, you've got all these different shapes to play around with just so we have some things to color and I'll make this star yellow. So it's easy for you guys to see over in my color panel. Okay. 
The styles panel automatically comes with these preset ones that are the default options within Affinity Designer. Now, all of these styles represent a series of effects that have been stacked together. So if we were to select this blue frost one, for example, um, we need to apply it before we can see it. So to apply it, you simply select a layer and select the style and it will automatically apply it. So in this case, we've got this cushioned um, glittery blue that we have here. So let's just look really quickly what this is composed of. In our color panel, we can see that it's filled with the color blue and the noise level is turned up to 100% to give it this textured look. If we click on the effects panel, we can see that a combination of inner shadow, outline, 3D, bevel emboss, color overlay and gradient overlay have all been applied to create this cushioned look. Now this is exactly how styles are created. They are created by combining a bunch of effects and then simply saving them into your panel. So if you created something that you would like, so let's just say I, well, let's see, can we change the color on this one? All right, let's say I change this color a little bit. I mean, I don't wanna spend a bunch of time going through all the settings. But if you create a, your effects and they're stacked together and you know you're gonna to wanna to use it in the future, you can add it to the styles panel as well. So in your styles panel, you'll see that there is a panel menu icon. Anytime you see these little lined menu icon, that's your panel menu icon. When we select that, we can choose to add styles category. So when we select that, you're gonna get one that says unnamed, sorry. You can click on it again to choose to rename the category and I'll just name this my styles for anything that I might create. And then whatever object you have added a series of effects to that you want to be able to use in the future, you will have it selected and then select that panel menu icon and choose add style from selection. And there that one will appear. You can right click on the style to rename it. I'm just gonna call it aqua glitter. I don't plan on keeping that on here, but um, if you want to delete one that you've added, you simply right click on it and select delete style. It'll prompt you, you'll say yes, and you can even delete your categories by clicking on that panel menu and choosing remove category. If for some reason you no longer want to have one that you had there in the first place. So you can save any ones that you create by using that option and any ones that you want to apply, you simply select the layer and then select whichever style it is that you already have within Affinity Designer. Now let's say you have purchased one, which is one of the reasons why I'm doing this video today. If you got the free um, the free gold leaf effect from the Artifex Forge, it's free only today. Today is December 7th, 2021. Um, it is free only today from the Artifex Forge. And it is a gold, gold leaf or gold foil leaf uh, style for Affinity Designer. And the question also came up in our group about the stitch, um, the stitch pack that he has, which contains brushes and styles. So when you are going to import something into Affinity Designer, it's going to have some type of extension. It's either going to say .af styles, .af assets, or .af brushes. That lets you know which one of these panels that it should be imported into. So assets, brushes, or styles. When you import them, they have to go into the correct panel or else you're not going to be able to see them. This also tells you where to find them. So in my assets panel, I have this default icons uh, that come with Affinity Designer. They're like cell phone icons. And I have other things that I've gotten for free, um, some things that I've purchased. And these are just like all cool different textures that you can use within your graphic art. So back to styles. Um, let's go ahead and import a new style. So let's say you purchase one or you downloaded the freebie like we did today. With your styles panel selected, you will select the panel menu icon and you will choose import styles category. 
And the first thing I'm going to do is import these Stitchcraft files because someone did ask about this in our group. There were two different folders and so this is folder one. You can see that their subfolders are brushes and styles. So when we click on brushes, see it's not going to show us anything because it has the AF styles selection selected. And if we click on the one that says styles, we can see that there is dot AF styles. Those are what we're importing. So if we select the denim one and select OK, all of these are going to be added into our styles panel. And we can rename any category by selecting the panel menu and choosing rename category. So I will rename this one denim fabric. And if we wanted to make this star have a denim look, we would simply select our star, select the denim fabric look, and there we have it. It's literally that easy to apply them to any layer that you've created in the designer persona. And you can continue to add all of the ones that you'd like in here. So if we select that panel menu icon again, import styles category, the next category we have here is this cross stitch fabric. I'm not sure if I'll find a use for this, but I might try because I have done cross stitching and I actually enjoy it. So who knows, maybe I've got some design ideas coming into the future. And I always like to rename mine just so they're easier to reference. And then of course today we had that gold, uh, gold leaf, gold foil leaf, gold leaf foil um, freebie. So if we choose that import styles category again, and I'll just go up out of here. And there it is, gold leaf texture effect, art fix forge. And we go into that infinity designer. And once again, we see that it says dot AF styles is the extension. We click open. It has added that right in there. And if we wanted to add the gold leaf foil, boom, we just select our layer and add it. So using styles, really easy. And this is a great way to utilize different types of textures for your artwork. A lot of times people want to have these type of textures and they want them to be auto applied to whatever it is. This is the fastest way to do it. It's literally instantaneous. You can add your texture right on in here through that styles panel and you can add anyone that you create as well by simply selecting that and choosing to add style from selection to your workspace. So hopefully that explains how to use styles for those of you who were wondering. Everything is done within that styles panel in terms of importing, adding new, uh, adding new categories, importing new categories, or adding the, your own from something that you have created. And as I already mentioned, um, all styles are created by different effects being grouped together to create the end look. Thank you so much for joining us and enjoy the rest of your day.